the loo with a view has had a serious upgrade. In this video I'll be showing how I put a sliding glass door in the end of my bathroom. I've located a sliding door and this is the one I'm going to use. It took about an hour to remove all the reveals. The fixing screws that held it into its previous frame are underneath the pane of glass. This means I can't get them out. So this pane has got to be removed. I'm struggling to get the tread plate off. I think it was just hammered in place. So I drilled a small pilot hole and then I used a drift to knock the plate out. It took a few more holes and hammering before I could get the plate free. Hurrah, we've got some movement. I can now prise the plate out by hand. With a firm pull, the plate just came off quite easily. The solid pane is just a normal door, but it's screwed into the side. The screws are a bit corroded and stuck in, so I pre-soaked them for about 24 hours with some WD-40. The tops of the screws are a bit corroded, so I hammered the screwdriver in with a mallet and I used the adjustable spanner to get some leverage. There was a lot of preparation to reuse this second hand door. I think a new one would have been easier, but this was a lot more affordable. Getting these screws out was a bit of a challenge, but we got there in the end. In theory, all I've got to do is pull the door to one side. Let's see how we get on. There's a video series that I've been watching on YouTube that I've really enjoyed. It's called Living Big in a Tiny House. I'll put a link below and it's well worth watching. Some jobs are just much easier with an assistant. Well, that was close. This topic is covered in full detail in part two of the ebook How to Build an Off Grid Shipping Container House. I installed a simple wooden frame in the end of the shipping container. Daniel helped greatly with this project and we installed the window frame in place. It's easier screwing into wood than it is into steel box section. We put the fixed panel in first. And then we dropped in the sliding panel. We stuffed insulation into all of the gaps. We decided to install a small cupboard into the corner. 
I've got just enough scrap ply lying around to make this possible. The plywood box just popped into the gap. Here's the loo with a view. I expect I'll put shelves into this recess. Staples hold fly screen in the windows above the door and I've used lots of little magnets to hold the fly screen to the metal of the container just to seal the deal. I'll probably do something more interesting with these windows to make them a feature but that'll be for later. Sarah found these two leaded windows in a furniture sale room and brought them home. There isn't room to fit them both. I removed the centre upright and reworked the opening. Finally put the shelf in. That looks better. And this is what the kangaroos see. This has become Henry the dog's favourite spot to sit in the sun and watch the world go by. We're now weatherproof and it's a big improvement. Click on the video to see me installing a shower in a shipping container. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.